Hello Scorpios, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about Scorpio rising and Scorpio in the 12th house. You might also have a sun in a Scorpio in the 12th house. Uh, this is the exact placement I have. And when I first learned about my astrology chart, I couldn't find many videos that explains this placement because most of the time, if you search for Scorpio rising, they would assume your Scorpio is in the first house, but you really have a Sagittarius in your first house, but your Scorpio rising. So if you're searching for that placement and explanation, I just want to share my experience from my perspective, my own life experience, how I lived this placement in my own life. Maybe it will resonate with you or not. Uh, just leave a comment down below so we can connect or just let me know if you had a similar experience or not. So I, I do have Scorpio rising, like a little bit Scorpio in my first house, but majority is Sagittarius. And I also have a Scorpio sun in the, the 12th house. And yeah, your Scorpio is basically ruling your 12th house. So how do we understand this placement? Um, if you start with Scorpio itself, uh, Scorpio is the planet of transformation, um, planet of intimacy and the shadow work. So you probably done a lot of research and watch other videos. So I'm not going to talk too much about Scorpio, but what does it mean having this placement specifically? Because having a Scorpio in the eighth house and having a Scorpio in 12th house, like totally different story. It impacts different area of your life. Uh, in some sense, the eighth house and 12th house is connected. Like eighth house also considered some sort of like spiritual um, psychic house and 12th house also a spiritual house but it's like a bigger sense it's more close to like the god energy or creator energy so having your scorpio in a 12th house is basically um the displacement is a little bit higher vibration than having your scorpio in the eighth house uh eighth house is more about being intimate um uh, sharing your vulnerability with another person it might be a friend or might be lover might be your parents anyone that you feel comfortable to show your vulnerable self and like transform yourself confronting your limitation but when it scorpio moves to the 12th house it's more about collective consciousness cosmos um the world, the unseen world, the world we cannot see, the spirit world. Uh, so, so when Scorpio moved to the 12th house, we are more obsessed, uh, fascinated with the spiritual knowledge or mis mystics, uh, cult, occult, anything taboo in society, anything os ostracized or decided by society that it's not okay it's not acceptable that's the dark shadow side of the society so we're talking about the collective and the wholeness and we're talking about society we're not just talking about a relationship me having a boyfriend or partner or someone I'm close to like that's totally different story so as having our Scorp Scorpio sign like ruling 12th house is we are drawn to dig deep into spiritual knowledge uh, know about like mystics mysteries we want to explore the cosmos and where we came from it's almost like a Sagittarius energy because you do you do have a Sagittarius in your first house and the first house is all about your personality and character your sense of self so deep down you are Sagittarius with uh, Scorpio mask. Um, so those energies are combined. Like a lot of astro astrologers talk about placements, uh, this sign in this house, this planet in this house, like they talk about a separate, 
but birth chart is really interconnected with each other, influence each other, nothing exists on its own. So our first house, Sagittarius house, always influencing our 12th house because they're neighbors. So we are feeling a lot of Sagittarius energy where we want to explore, we want to know the truth, we want to know the big picture and the meaning of everything. So Scorpio in the 12th house, you're really searching for the meaning of life, like why am I exist, why am I here? Like what's the, the truth behind everything? Who is the creator? Like you def, like you're born with this in, instinct, uh, curiosity, and this uh, you are still like a, like a detective where we have the stereotype of being detective, dig deep and you know, uh, dive deep. So what are we diving deep? Based on your house placement, you are diving deep in that area. So you're in a 12th house, you're going to dive deep in the things that we cannot experience with our five senses. So it's more spiritual, mystical, uh, only like something only exists our imagination or uh, our perception or our values. And l let me talk a little bit about uh, Scorpio rising because like you are not Sagittarius rising, but you, you do have a Sagittarius first house. So displacement really means like you are learning Scorpio lessons and you're kind of at the end of the cycle. Um, if, if let's say your Scorpio took over the, your whole first house, you would be just start learning the Scorpio lessons but your Scorpio passed through your entire first house, first house where the like the sun on the east horizon and like, it's like the morning time, everything, the sun uh, lights up everything which was in the dark before. So ascendant or rising sign is really about knowing your dark side or not, not dark side, like, knowing something about yourself that you didn't know before. A lot of people like explain uh, your ascendant or rising sign is just the impression you give to others. You're like a rap that others, your first impression people see you react to like, that's not really true. It's really, it's your instinct reaction. So whenever you're in the circumstances, your first instinct reaction is going to be that sign. Like if you have Scorpio rising, you instinctively react Scorpion way to stimulus coming to your way. So you, you are not reacting as a Sagittarius way. A lot of people might say like, oh, you have Sagittarius first house. You probably have Sagittarius descendants. So you're very upbeat, joyful, uh, <clears throat> positive and then but we're Scorpios like no like I'm not upbeat positive I'm uh, reserved and uh, I don't open up to people easily they have to like have to talk to them a while get to know them then slowly warm up so that's our like instinct reactive um, reaction to the stimulus in our lives so when you're Scorpio in the Scorpio rising and Scorpio in the 12th house. And if you have your son in the 12th house, you basically, you are who you, who you show to the world. If you seem preserved, you kind of look Scorpion. You are Scorpion. <laughs> you are Scorpio. So just, just remember that uh, having those both signs, you, you just show up as who you are. There's no something like covering but Scorpios definitely show like poker face or slow to warm up, but inside us, like it's like a boiling energy that wants to come out and express itself. And a little bit about like Scorpio, like this Scorpio has a, a of course, the bad reputation or some misunderstood uh, characteristics like linked with sex, jealousy, but just want to clarify that because 
in a spiritual perspective, like each zodiac sign has its higher manifestation and lower manifestation. So based on your own evolutionary journey of the soul, you can show either side of the sign. So every single sign on zodiac sign has a higher manifestation, lower manifestation. So for Scorpios, we are the guardians of enlightenment. Like we, we do deal with like all the dirty taboos and crappy stuff, but anyone who seeks to enlighten, anyone wants to know God or creator, anyone seeks higher knowledge they have to deal with your their crap first or they have to do their shadow work first you can't just skip like uh all of the dirt in me doesn't matter let me just go study with this guru and become enlightened it's not gonna work so like scorpios are really good at we are not intimidated we are not shy away from things that people scare to know about themselves or experience themselves um we can dig deep we can confront all that dark side of ourselves and we bring it to the light and we transmute them and then we can like join the light or come to that um come to that enlightenment uh, state of our being. So if you think of, um, and also we already like you guys been learning the Scorpio lesson and you're almost at the finish line because once you're done list, uh, learning Scorpio lesson, it moves on to the Sagittarius. So you guys are doing great. So I would assume that you're, um, expressing the highest manifestation of Scorpio. As uh, speaking of which, just explain what's the highest, what's the lowest. So the higher manifestation of Scorpio is really, like I just said before, it's a sign of uh, transmutation, more than transformation. Like we take all the dark side of ourselves, shadow part of ourselves, things that not accepted, judged, all that we we confront ourselves we we know all the aspects of ourselves and we bring it to the light and we transmute and we become a new person we become a trans transformed person and that's the like highest manifestation we are very motivated when we're obsessed with something and we are driven we are resourceful we can always come up some any crisis you have in your life, you can always come up with resources how to deal with it. This, the shit we go through, the other signs probably like break down or give up on life, but we can handle it. Like our tolerance or our power of going through a hardship is way better than any other sign. And that's for a reason like, in esoteric astrology says Scorpio holds the key to enlightenment or um, what was it? Ah, I forgot. Okay, try not to pause. Uh, yeah, like if you have a Scorpio, strong Scorpio sign, you are on a fast track to enlightenment. We might go through more shit or crisis or, you know, constant ups and downs and hurt betrayal and transformation more than any other sign but it also puts on a fast track to the end point which is enlightenment and knowing your true power we are the sign of empowerment and the lesson we learn is really like power comes from within you and you have a power to transmute anything no matter how dark it is and for um, the lower manifestation though, like now we talk about the, all the stereotypes and the negative side of Scorpio. If uh, you are living the lower vibration side of Scorpio, it's, it manifests as jealousy. Uh, it manifests as obsession to the degree which is unhealthy. Uh, like you love someone, you love them so much that you start stalking them or start threatening their boyfriend go like it, it it gets dark um 
because anything like you overdo it, it becomes toxic or uh, it becomes that lower vibration. So we, we do have like, we have sexual obsession because Scorpio also rules our, our body parts, which is genitals. So we have a reputation of being sexual. And I mean, it makes sense because like our genitals are the, the vulnerable part of us. We don't show it to everybody. It's like, we only show it to people we trust. So that's why Scorpios like can be protective or they don't let people in easily. So for us, a remedy is really how to be vulnerable and trust people, even though there's a chance of their hurting us, backstabbing us, or take advantage of our vulnerable part or our secrets and whatever. So the best way to transmute those lower vibration of being secretive, being obsessive, being jealous, being, you know, to uh, intense and all of that is really letting others in. <laughs> like we got to share our feelings. We got to share our experience and the perspectives with others. So when we moving this energy, it's not stuck in us and it, comes out unhealthy or abrupt way um i wasn't trying to give a suggestion but anyways you guys probably figure out on your own you are scorpios so i hope this gave you some sort of understanding of why you have this placement just know that you're on a fast track to enlightenment and you you are going to get all the knowledge you're seeking and you will transform yourself into a totally different person and just ignore all the negative talks about the internet about like having too much Scorpio you will go through hell and all that but after hell you will go to heaven anyways let me know if this any of those uh resonates with you uh share in the comment your own experience and I will talk to you guys in the next video